You are listening and watching to a very special podcast. We're going to continue where we left off in Silver Eden's point of view. Okay, enjoy. Silver Eden was inside the television building of Hero TV. She looked like she was pretty lost. Luckily, nobody was around, so she had to find Ferrer or wherever her friends may be. Just then, she passed by a room, but then she stopped and backed in, where she could see an attractive-looking woman reaching over, but she couldn't reach it because it was so high up. Do you need some help? Silver asked. The woman turned around. What are you doing here? The woman demanded. Hold on, hold on. I didn't mean to. I was just looking for someone around here because I couldn't find anyone, so I thought maybe you could help me. Well, what do you want? The woman snapped. That seemed pretty rude to Silver. What? You're just trying to help her out and this is the thanks you get? Jeez, how rude, Dana said. I know, Silver whispered. I'm sorry, the woman demanded. Look, I'm here to help. You need any help? Well, if I can get this stupid tape down and here, let me help you with that. Silver said. The woman was standing on some step stool, but then when Silver picked it up, the woman almost fell over, but luckily she caught the ends of the shelves. However, she managed to reach over what she was looking for, but then she looked over at Silver. Silver couldn't help but smile. Glad I could be used to some help, Silver said. Uh, how did you do that? The woman asked. Now she was much nicer. Well, I would tell you, but I don't want you to reveal my secret identity. I'm not Supergirl, by the way, Silver said with a laugh. <laughs> Funny, the woman said. She climbed down from the step stool. She looked over at Silver and said, well... I guess I have to owe you my thanks, and also my apology. I didn't mean to be rude. No, no, it's my fault. I should have asked somebody if, or maybe waited out there, but I guess I didn't. Silver said, well, now that you're here, perhaps you can help me out with something. Maybe you can come to observe what I've been doing. But we're on only about a couple of minutes, so why don't you stay and watch the show? You mean help you out? Yes. Well, we just ended a show, but we're going to do one tomorrow. Would you like to come? The woman asked. Sure, why not? Silver said. Then the woman introduced herself as Agnes. And Silver introduced herself as well. Just before Silver had to leave, she bumped into someone. Oh my god, I am so sorry. But then she couldn't believe it. It was him! Barnaby Brooks Jr. Oh no, it's my fault, he said with a smile. Silver was frozen. Oh my god, you're Barnaby Brooks Jr. I've heard so much about you, Hero TV, huh? Silver said. <laughs> Yeah, that's me, Barnaby said, shaking her hand. Kotetsu appeared behind him. Ahem, he said. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I forgot about the other hero. I would say sidekick, but I don't think so. You're a hero too, aren't you? Uh, wait, how did you... It's all right, it's all right. <laughs> 
Let's just say I've been doing a little bit snooping around, Over said. Silver! Barrera appeared. Ah! Barrera Penguin! Oh, my friend! I thought I'd never see you! <laughs> I'm glad that you found it. Yeah, I've been looking all over for it. Uh, wait. You know her? Kotetsu asked. Yeah. Kotetsu Barnaby, this is my friend, Silver Eden. Hi! How are ya? So you're Kotetsu Kaburagi? Uh, yeah. You... So how did you know it was me? Well, let's just say the voices sound similar. I don't think anybody knows that, but I do. Silver explained. Don't mind her braininess. <laughs> so, what you doing? Oh, I thought maybe I would be an observing assistant. Silver said. No kidding. When? Well, I have to help that one lady, Agnes. Eh, she's a hottie, but eh. You met her? Well, basically, she was trying to get something down, so I helped her out, and she was pretty impressed on how I managed to reach things, especially for being short. <laughs> yeah, I can see that, Ferrer said. Okay, this is Hero TV? Huh, looks pretty nice, Chloe remarked. Chloe? Silver said. Oh, hey, Silver. You look pretty good. Yeah, you do too. Silver said, Well, it was nice to meet you all. Silver said with a bow, a respectful one. Um, uh, now if you excuse me, <laughs> I'm a bit in a rush, so see ya tomorrow. <laughs> and off she went. <laughs> She's a cutie, Barnaby remarked. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think she's got some sort of mentality going on, said Kotetsu. What? Don't you think she has some mental issues? What, are you calling her crazy? Barnaby said. I think what he means is that maybe Silver's got a bit of a condition. Is she sick? Barnaby asked with concern. No, she, um, it's just a diagnosis. A disorder, really. She's really smart, but she's unique, Ferrer said. Oh, yeah? In what way? Kotetsu asked. In every way, Ferrer said. Silver skipped away. Oh, my God, it was him. Silver said, skipping down the sidewalk. Wow, he is so hot, gushed Dana. But then she realized, uh, well, yeah, he's hot, but you're totally much better, Noah. Yeah, I think that guy must be rubbing my ego too much. Oh, don't say that. Sure, he's a good-looking fellow. <sighs> Sorry, Noah. Dana apologized. No, it's okay. I have to agree. If I was a girl, I would totally fall for him, too. Noah said with a laugh. Silver laughed, too. <laughs> I know. Oh, jeez. I think maybe it's time I get to know him a little better. Silver said, and tomorrow I better get some rest. <laughs> this is gonna be great. So she was pretty much didn't have a place to stay. However, she managed to find a pretty cheap motel. When she was under the blankets, she looked over at the moon's light reflecting upon her, and then she fell asleep. 
Thank you for listening and watching. Stay tuned for more coming your way. I'm Catherine Donaldson, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!